we welcome you all in this cold morning day of our exploration i we hope you have done all the assignments and exploring it throughout in your life as well in your living as well we would like to hear your exploration your take away about the same so yeah we can see that is hand is there see that is namaste welcome namaste bhaiya namaste, namaste sabhi ko namaste <laughs> We are as Esther day, na, and the first day. Mm -hmm. The Esther day session was very enriching. Don't mm -hmm. uh, believe me, So, the points are discussed Esther day that I know that I have to focus on my imagination, and we have to see our imagination part and to uh, concentrate on our imagination. And I experienced that. Uh, and with that i was able to see my desired thoughts and expectations that is in myself and i was look at many things that are new for me because i cleared all points that was not cleared before like value then knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling and what is the b1 and b2 part also with education and sanskar we can have resolution by knowing then by recognizing the sensation i feel that body is there instead of with the experiment that when i closed my eyes yes really i can see the feelings in the body and body is there then next thing uh as i assume that acceptance is also based on the content of our imagination and whatever i assume is true but assumptions can be changing so knowing is important uh as yesterday umesh bhaiya said that na he keep asking the question what i really want to be and what i am what are my desires my thoughts and then i find a gap between uh i find a gap because i'm not getting what i know exact meaning of happiness and with our self development at the base we can prepare to facilitate our students in their exploration of vhp proposals as co explorer and teacher as a co explorer and facilitator facilitating self exploration in the students and uh, one thing that i Uh, in the Esther day, na, please elaborate on self as a seer, doer, and enjoyer. That I really like, uh, and I explore the things uh, for the seer, doer, and enjoyer. So there is a relation uh, be between the self and the body, and that body acts as an instrument of the self. Means whatever the self thinks, body performs it physically. body does not decide itself so we can uh, means i can also verify this uh, for example i am seer means i am uh, then i am a doer and i am a enjoyer up now i am a seer means behind all our activities of our seeing means understanding doing and enjoying is a feeling of eyeness so for example uh, our eyes and ears act as an instrument and it helps us to see and uh, or listen anything Hence, I am seer. Uh, then seer means drishta. I am the uh, doer. Then, for example, I I use my hands to write, my legs to walk, etc. Then, uh, if I am a doer, means karta, means I am enjoyer. So I use my body as an instrument to perform various activities, and it is I who enjoy the pleasure. So really, uh, the studies assignment. Uh, so I like it very. Well, thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts. Thanks to all. Namaste. Thank you, thank you, Rohit Didi. It's really nice to hear from you. Uh, we would like to hear in briefly from as many as participants possible. So we have Dr. Sunil Kumar ji also with us. Ji, sir, namaste. Yeah. Welcome. Namaste. Good morning. Good morning. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, yes, sir. Clear. Very clear. Yeah, thank you. Ahead. Thank you very much. so this uh, uh, workshop of refresher 2 it has been really enriching for the previous two days for sure 
I have attended uh, Refresher One already. That is in February 2021. And now I have more insights into several of the aspects, including what is uh, discussed yesterday, especially with regard to the powers which a human being is having, the power which the self is having, like desire, thought, expectations, and the kind of activities like uh, imagination, analyzing, comparing, selecting, tasting, etc. So I could, uh, with yesterday's uh, assignment, I could validate many of the uh, events which have happened in my life as well as with uh, the life of uh, some of my students through my experience in teaching them the UHB uh, SIP as well as UHB 2 earlier. And I could uh, connect these uh, proposals, the powers as well as dynamic and static activities with more and more uh, events. So that is an outcome or a takeaway as far as I'm concerned. But one thing which I would like to uh, express as, a, as, a, as my doubt uh, with regard to the powers is that we always start with the number three. Number three, four, five in the list are uh, desire, thought, and expectations. But we never fill up uh, number one and two. That is something which is actually, uh, I could not uh, understand. Maybe uh, that is my lack of competence. So if uh, you, could, you can tolerate upon that, that'd be much, much better as far as I'm concerned. With regard to the, the assignments which uh, have been given yesterday. So I could uh, fill up all those questions which were frequently asked by the students. And also I could connect uh, the, my desires, that is uh, assignment section B, desires made yesterday uh, with analysis. Uh, uh, yeah, what kind of analysis, analyze what part is related to self and what is related to body. Those things I could uh, connect very easily uh, because of the insights given by the speakers yesterday. And so also the assignment part, uh, another uh, question was, Analyze the source of the desire. Yeah, this also could be, I could, I could connect it very, very easily after exploring because it just, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I took uh, nearly three hours uh, with, uh, for uh, filling up the assignment form, the Google form. And part uh, C also was, uh, in fact, enriching. So kind of assignments, if uh, we could uh, also prepare based on our own experience and our own experiential validation to the students, that also would be good. So that is what uh, I would like to share in the morning. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's really good to see that all of us are exploring and giving our honest effort on performing these assignments and exploring uh, more and more uh, and more ahead in the upcoming lectures and upcoming sessions. Looking forward to your more and more active participation. Welcome. You would like to hear from more and more our co-explorers, family members, if anybody would like to say, a most welcome. We have Dr. Manuranjan ji with us and Minu is also with us. Ji Manuranjan sir, namaste. Minu ji, namaste. We would like to hear from you as well. Uh, namaste Pariksha ji. Ji bhaiya, namaste, namaste. Yeah, I was going to ask uh, the last uh, uh, speaker about this. Uh, what percentage of the desires did he find that are related to self and what percentage are related to the needs of the body? Thank you for the question. Yeah. In fact, in fact, you did uh, three hours is a big lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So nice. what I could find uh, from my exploration uh, is that uh, all those desires, I don't know if it is a coincidence or not, all those desires are based on my cell phone. You have to, I mean, uh, you can check whether it is correct or not. Uh, my, so I have listed 10 desires. So the first one, if I just read like that is uh, spending more quality time with my family members. Of course, that mm -hmm. is related to myself for sure. Then what uh, I have to complete yeah. certain projects uh, with certain timeline. So uh, kind of uh, all those kind of uh, uh, desires, I could connect uh, almost 100% are related to myself only in that. That's mm -hmm. what I could say right now. Maybe it's a coincidence. So one more thing that 
uh, I don't know if it was there in the assignment or not, but important thing is the desires of the self uh, can they be fulfilled by physical facility? Not fully, not fully. You require adequate physical facilities, but yeah. you require mm -hmm. uh, right understanding and right feeling, which are top on the table for sure. As it is yeah. discussed in the USB uh, say workshops. I really yeah. appreciate that and I can really see that through my experiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good um, observation. Uh, so we have to see that this physical facility is going to fulfill the desire of the self or is it going to fulfill the needs of the body further? Essentially, essentially, that is uh, physical facilities are going to see through the desires of the body for sure. But of course, mm -hmm. if uh, the self is to be happy, continuous happiness as well as continuous prosperity are the needs of the self. Yeah, but for yeah. this also to happen, we require adequate, I would say adequate physical facilities. If the body, if the body is say, ill, for example, uh, for example, COVID-19, let's say, uh, we will be detached from the other world for some time at least, kind of uh, quarantine period. And that is uh, actually affecting the self also. So in that sense, you require adequate physical facilities in addition to uh, uh, right uh, understanding as well as right feeling. That is my uh, perception. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, keep looking into that. And you know, <laughs> it's important. Thank Very you. Very nice. Thank you. And can I uh, say... Uh, I uh, asked one question in addition to what I said. So can you please uh, comment upon that? That the powers which we mentioned are, it starts from number three, desire, thought, and expectations of the self. These are all lots of names. Yeah, okay. What about number one so, and two? That's what so I the, the one and two, the activities were discussed. Okay. So that's, we can keep looking into the activities. Sure, okay. Thank you. Yeah, but we can give some label to those one and two, whatever labels. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I was always confused about that table whenever I look into that. I uh, today morning also I was reading the book. Uh, this one, the Foundation Course in Human Values and Social Ethics by Gaur Astana and Bagaria. Just trying to find out if I could find something more in that. Whenever I read the book again and again, I get uh, some more uh, insights. Nice. Also, nice. these lectures. Whenever I uh, uh, say, uh, attend to these workshops, I'm getting more and more insights. Thank you very much nice. for this opportunity. Thank you. Nice. nice. Best wishes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. Hello. Good morning, Lady. Please go ahead. I was audible. Yes, sir. Uh, regarding the sixth point, uh, aging process and the age diseases start disappearing. Uh, that uh, I have one doubt, sir. Uh, our aging process is a natural one, but when we are having a right understanding and uh, uh, aspirations and uh, whatever we have discussed, we are applying no sir. So the age, uh, even though the aging process is continued, the diseases will not affect, right sir? Whether I'm uh, taking in the correct sense. Sir. So we have to write according to that, uh, sir. Sixth point. Hello. Yeah, what is your exploration on that? Ah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My exploration is the aging uh, will not affect our thoughts. The thoughts and the right understanding at any age we need the maturity and we have we committed some mistakes or unknowingly we are uh, adhering to the physical facility. We may have some uh, affections or likes unknowingly, even it is temporarily that we have to recover from that and we should know correctly, right, sir? I'm you see, and I, yes. the the uh, things can happen mm. given the environment. Things will happen, mm. and things can happen. Yes, sir. So somebody who has right understanding would not be surprised that you know something yes. has happened. COVID has happened. Yes. This and that. Something oh. has happened, but they will take responsibility for doing something about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For themselves for their neighbors, for their family and all that. All levels. And also all for the environment. Yes, sir. All four And levels. so on. So they'll take some responsibility. And yes. ultimately, they'll be very clear that the body has to die. Yes. 
so they won't be crying after that somebody ah. dies or you know something happens so they'll they'll be uh, able to accept it and work with you know what is yes. rather than you know get worried about those things yes. so body has to age yeah. so they'll know that it is a material entity and so on yes. so they but it doesn't mean that nothing will happen to them things will happen to them mm. also like anybody else yes sir out of our life experience and whatever we have missed that thing will also create a maturity for us no no sir thank you thank you sir thanks for the opportunity sir thank you thank you ma'am ji good morning pavai ma'am namaste 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 see i i had a little confusion see in that uh, uh, analyze uh, what part is related to self and the desires uh, we made and uh, uh, we are uh, uh, categorized mm. as related to body related to uh, self uh, if i take uh, i wish to buy a new dress okay and uh, if it is more than uh, what i need it is something extra just for uh, the sake of uh, getting it it is looking nice i am getting it um, for that reason if i am buying can i say it is for the self i am getting it of course but if i am getting it for myself means that i can justify no i can uh, get it is for myself only i am getting so i can get more satisfaction yeah, but that is a big confusion isn't it that you are trying to get it for the self mm. that means you want happiness out of it oh okay. and you are confused that happiness will come from physical facility mm. so that is confusion but you can buy you can do all that but uh but once you start exploring into things then you will be clear that the purpose of clothes mm. is to protect the body correct and you'll have adequate protection for the body but then you won't be confused that you know this uh, clothes will fetch me happiness okay okay fine but this can be discussed with more with the resource person okay when when they come okay okay yeah. and you said no death is uh, only to body and if it is aging and then dying that is okay unexpected death uh, husband dies out of an accident uh, child is uh, uh, due to some disease then how can we go about it it will be uh, those things can happen those things can you are walking and the tree falls on your head so yes <laughs> that will that can happen you know and then we have a society in which we have so much of confusion already so many things can happen many accidents happen somebody is driving drunk something is happening all those things can happen bus driver is driving when you know he is so uh, 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 under so much of tension so he had a couple of drinks so you know it can affect the whole people all the people in the bus and those things happen so you expect that they will happen because we have not worked on the root causes and even after working on the root causes this tree can still fall on the head yes so we shouldn't be so you know sad about things that they have happened no but how can we go uh, further uh, say uh, one of my friend uh, she lost her uh, husband and she is not able to do her uh, daily activities also so yeah because that you see that relationship has to be built not when the husband dies the relationship has to be built a lot of time before that so that you know there is a relationship with the neighbors with the larger family and so on so then you know when things like that happen then there is somebody to uh be there yes isn't it yes yes you can't buy insurance and say okay everything is fine <laughs> you know no but uh, that space cannot be uh, fulfilled by any other that is true that is that is true that is very true but that 
it won't be a source of you know uh, confusion that and depression that okay. it will be a source of okay fine that has happened now mm. now what do we do yes yes thank you so the whole purpose of all that would be uh, that i am focused on my uh, understanding and helping others to understand others to develop the feeling me to develop my feeling so this whole journey is for mutual development mm. that can continue and of course the gap with the husband would certainly be there mm. but that doesn't mean that you know the basic purpose of life is finished okay they won't get depressed then yes but you can discuss it further yes sir, yes, sir. thank yeah. you yeah thank you thank you poyal mm -hmm. ji we have sima patel ma'am and minu mata ma'am with us ji sima ji namaste minu ji namaste namaste okay both of you have my yeah. one can <laughs> go ahead thank okay. you minu ji uh it's happening for the second time second day consecutively uh, but there uh, are two things i had uh, to uh, ask uh one uh, uh, this session we would like to hear your reflection we can uh, take the question answer in uh, day session if you don't mind okay okay fine whatever um, the reflection or sharing you have uh, regarding the day two assignment or till day one and day two any okay. take away you would like to hear please no we are more than a take away it's a confusion uh, i am still not clear on that uh, that slide on that scaling and tasting i think i i will take more time to you know assimilate and imbibe it something very new and i'm not a, a science background uh, or a maths background person so it's it's taking me some time to uh, you know for it to assimilate and i don't think i'm very uh, uh, clear about it that is what i wanted to just share because even the uh, yesterday's question on uh, uh, that thing the three imagination how will you um, uh, while it was being um, uh, uh, while it was being taught uh, i felt yes even though then i shared that i think i am having some uh, i'm not uh, able to uh, clearly get it but uh, when i had to apply it i couldn't so uh, this is just what i want to tell welcome we hope that uh, as the session progresses it will be resolved certainly okay thank you sir yes yeah, seema ji have you uh, <clears throat> gone through the handouts in the class notes about uh, this particular topic but, uh, no not yesterday sir not yesterday no no before that or you know you, uh, if you have a question uh, you can certainly uh, go through the uh, book or the class notes or the handouts or the presentations okay okay, okay. so if you explore on your own right it will be more uh, enriching But certainly, if there are questions after that, that would be nice. We can certainly oh, discuss. Okay, okay, But that homework you have to do. Uh -huh. We had given a whole lot of homework. Uh -huh. So it would be good if that homework is, you know, in the mind and do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. I'll do that today. Yeah. That applies for everyone, not just you. नमस्ते भैया हाँ नमस्ते मीनू जी दीदी नमस्ते 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 भैया नमस्ते सभी को भैया येस्टरडे आई हैड टू एक्सप्लोरेशन सर वन आई अंडरस्टूड दैट एक्सेप्ट फॉर वेरी वेरी लेस नंबर ऑफ एक्टिविटीज मे बी लाइक थिंकिंग और रीडिंग अ बुक Uh, i think i i found that uh, body and self are involved everywhere else only for activities like thinking reading a book maybe watching news 
only self was involved i mean uh, the activity was fulfilling the needs of the self otherwise i found it was body and self combination working and uh, second uh, bhaiya when i was doing that question on uh, the points of thought and the feelings associated with it in most of the cases i found that my feeling was worry then i started asking myself what exactly is this worry because it is not part of the nine feelings that we have studied and then when i uh, thought about it deeply my conclusion was that worry is a subset of affection because until and unless i have affection for somebody why will i worry for him or her and uh, with this uh, a lot of uh, negative thoughts that i had in my mind got translated into positive thoughts because i could see properly that uh, i have affection for that person only because of that these thoughts of worry come in my mind because i'm not worried about random people or strangers whom i don't even know so sir this was my exploration yesterday yeah nice nice we have uh, to look at uh, our feeling of trust to start with and if we have that feeling of trust then uh, we will be able to see and then with the feeling of respect that we will be able to rightly evaluate the other person and then be able to if we are ourselves uh, able to help that person that will be nice and if we are not able to do that then you know take help from some third person but ultimately this uh, worry or this concern is because of lack of understanding lack of feeling in myself or in the other person isn't it so keep looking into that ji bhai yeah sandhya sawe ji namaste bhaiya good morning sir uh, sir while doing both the assignments day one was asking about the uh, Three days desire. So I have written my ten desires, and today, it, uh, yesterday, the son it was said, "What is it more about? Uh, like, uh, what was that assignment? That desires are more about what?" Then, when I was thinking and solving the assignment, uh, my more of the concern as I was uh, found COVID positive last Saturday, and my kids also. So it was more about my family health, and while solving the. assignment i i realize more of the concern was about the body more of a uh, and very less about the self as such it was not thoughtful process the concerns which i have written but uh, as uh, while solving i realize i written one of the concerns i shall be able to take a lecture of 2 hours because our semester is starting and i was bit worried that will i be able to take lecture of 2 hours but then when i uh, doing the assignment and when i thought in that terms of dots it was one sided thought why i underestimated my kids that uh, my students that they won't understand uh, that uh, i'm not in the position to take a, a lecture and uh, they will definitely support me so it was more of a checking my uh, others competency uh, which i realized and uh, the most of the thought process were almost all of them were like expectations when i was very uh, very well aware somewhere behind the mind that uh, this will take time to cure uh, five days i doctor said and now my kids don't have a fever so they will be getting cure in two to three days so uh, this expectation though i was keeping everything around my kids and me uh, back of the mind self was knowing the appropriate reason but still uh, 
this uh, these were the last three days my uh, uh all the desires uh, i felt that uh, it has come from the way me knew the said it was a worry of mine but then uh, i have somewhere uh, not evaluated or not taken the concern of other competency and in fact i got a message from my student saying miss it's okay if you take for one hour lecture also we can compensate some other day so i and it is not the first time it has happened previously also when i was not well student has supported but that time i don't know why i could not think of that so this was my uh, uh, take away within one day how the things has changed when i thought in a uh, different manner and i could just uh, understand the difference between that desire and expectation and i realized most of the concern was related to body and hardly anything was related to self in a deeper manner thank you sir for giving me time uh, that's a very important uh, point that you have made that you are able to observe uh, your imagination in so much of detail and differentiate between the desire and the expectation and one more thing that you can do is to focus on or not focus on but try to find out what is the feeling with which you have this imagination what is the feeling behind this imagination uh, most of the time the i thought uh, the feeling was uh, care about my family and kids and when it comes to my student i was a bit worried because of me it should not happen that their portion will be lagging because on online classes as we all understand hardly time we get uh, with respect to lecture so interaction time may go low down so yeah. concern was more of a worry or a uh, care i can say affectionation and care there was uh, and i think so i went down in the trust matter when it came with my student also because i didn't evaluate their competency i was just thinking about myself most yeah. of the time so you can you can uh, <clears throat> try to identify the feeling or the lack of feeling so yeah, worry of... and anger and all those are lack of some feeling yeah, lack right, of right. trust mm. so and before going to care and all that uh, ensure that that uh, uh, are fixed on the trust part after that they can go forward beyond that yes sir yes sir yeah but uh, uh, if you are able to observe the feeling that you have that is a very important observation and what you have done is very important that you are able to differentiate <clears throat> between the um, desire and the uh, expectation hmm? what you are calling care might be simply a set of expectations but anyway you can take a you know you have done a lot of exploration and keep going with that all the best thank you sir thank you thank you sir yeah pariksha